USC is 21 and 1 in regular season games against ranked opponents since October of 2002. That's exactly six years ago. Problem is that one loss was last year to Oregon. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the College Football Previews presented by AT&T. It's the ninth ranked Trojans at home to the 23rd ranked Ducks. And to help me break it all down, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston. Spence, we'll get to Oregon in a sec, but when you look at USC, obviously coming off that disappointing loss to Oregon State on the road last week, but when you look at the top 10, how easy or difficult will it be for the Trojans to climb back into the national picture race? Well, I think it's going to be very, very difficult for the Trojans to make it back in. And, and as you look at who's actually ahead of them now and how precipitously they dropped after that surprise loss on the road against Oregon State, I think it's going to be a challenge mainly because the, as you look at that schedule, there's not a whole lot of strength of those teams in the Pac-10, which is relatively weak to prop them up. I mean, we're in an age in college football where it's completely interactive. That is, you're dependent upon the success of other teams if you fall early to prop them back up. You don't have a quality win. The win, the, the loss to Oregon State really hurt them. Penn State just hammered Oregon State. So you look at that, can you hang your hat on a win within your conference? And it's very tough for USC to do that right now. And so I think the climb is going to be long and arduous. So is the Pac-10 really as bad as what people have been saying the last couple of weeks? Or maybe it's not as bad then? Well, you've had a couple of teams to squeak back in the top 25, top 20, but you know what? Listen, that's after the fact. Remember, Oregon State wasn't ranked when USC played them, and so if you were to take a snapshot of the Pac-10 at that particular point in time, it is a weak conference, to be sure. So I think, yes, it is. It's fairly weak. I mean, no Cal. They're, they're not, they're usually perennially have a footprint in the Pac-10 and nationally, and they're usually ranked up there in the top 15, 17, uh, but they're nowhere to be seen right now. So that conference is definitely underperforming when you compare it to recent years. Well, USC certainly not weak at home in games uh, at the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. They've won 14 straight against ranked opponents at the Coliseum, dating back to Pete Carroll's second game as head coach of USC. Yeah. But they were horrible against the run last week against Oregon State. Can they stop Oregon's rushing attack knowing that that's what the Ducks are going to do? Well, it's going to be very, very difficult to do that because, again, Oregon, outside of James Spiller and Davis at Clemson, at, uh, I think that this is probably the best tandem at running back in all of college football. You know, you're talking about J uh, Jeremiah Johnson and LeGarrette Blount. Those two had outstanding weeks last week. Um, the thing I like about them is they can – take control of a ball game. And here's another nugget to, to really realize what's going on with, with regard to USC. The strength of that defense last year was their front four. Remember, it shifted to the linebacking core. And with Ray Maluga now ailing, had an MIR on that knee, he's questionable, could be out. And also, Cushing, the other linebacker, could be out. So if the strength moved from the front four to the linebacking core, and now your top linebackers are hurt, I tell you what, a strong running attack would be just the way to attack USC, Jason. Spence, that puts a lot of pressure then on Mark Sanchez, who last week, 18 of 29, he had three touchdowns with that crucial interception. What does he come out and do this week? Well, I think he's got to be very, very patient and disciplined. And again, if you remember that faraway look that he had in his eyes at Oregon State told me that he didn't have a clue how to respond. They walked into a hornet's nets and was not prepared to deal with that. The way you come back from a loss that way is to establish your run game and really take the pressure off your passing attack. And Joe McKnight, one of their young, talented uh, running backs, didn't have a great game. Lost the handle on the football last week. Did a number of things that was uncharacteristic for him, come, at least coming into the last couple of weeks. So they've got to get the run game established. And if they can do that, they can take some pressure off the, uh, the passing attack for the Trojans. Spence, it sounds like you're giving in Oregon a chance to win this game. Are you going to take the Ducks <laughs> on the road? You're reading, you're reading my mind, and I think, I'll tell you what, this game is going to be a lot closer than most people think because, again, I'm sizing this up on paper, trying not to be, you know, intoxicated by the uniform and the jersey of USC and the tradition and all and look for and, and say what I see. And right now I see an Oregon team that is equipped to beat them. Uh, the strength of this USC team is their defense and the linebacking core. They're ailing right now. The strength of Oregon, once again, they're running back, and they are solid right now, the best tandem in the nation. I think that Oregon is right for upset at on the road against a USC team that's a little bit uh, stung right now. Well, a little bit stung, but also a little bit angry. Remember, they did lose in Eugene last year, so they've got that revenge factor uh, yeah. on their side. So we'll see how that plays out, Spence, on Saturday night. Thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason. We'll see you.
Folks, and don't forget about SEC Live on CBSSports.com. Each and every week, every game that you see on CBS, you'll see on CBSSports.com. It's SEC Live presented by AT&T. This week, it's undefeated but untested Kentucky on the road against certainly a tested team in Alabama, number two in the nation. For more on that game or this game or being a USC Oregon or any other here as we head into October, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.